sponsored by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Live from New York, it's the show that's trying not to disappoint Brew with our pie selection. It's the second hour of First Things First. Today, Cam Newton's all-time great compliment to Lamar Jackson. Mm. It's coming up in a half hour. What do you hear it? Meanwhile, Giannis well, and Luka right battle this weekend. Is this a must win for Luka after a devastating loss in the finals? <laughs> but right now, it's time for the most delicious Giannis segment. Giannis went out in the first round. Well, he you didn't first. even play. Hey. Yeah. It's the uh, most delicious the segment in all of sports uh, where we see which teams have the recipe for success and which teams <laughs> are just cooked. Uh, bon appetit. Did you write that, Wilds? Yeah, you like that? Which teams are just cooked? But before we introduce right. it, yeah. we also have a pie for you, a little bro. too far. Okay. Now, the producers have got to be Mississippi Mud. I know it is. I, I, it's got my oh, script Oh, they on. want it to be a surprise? Oh, it, it, apple pie. So, see, now he they make me that. feel bad. He doesn't want Because <laughs> I just spent the first segment of the show I mean, ripping apple a, pie. It's, it's an American classic fruit. He doesn't it's, like fruit in the pie. Okay. Man. All right. Can we, we can't do the this. crust, the crisp. Kind of, oh, I'll eat yeah. that, okay, and then good. you can have the fruit. I'll leave the fruit for you. I Thank feel you. like we just kind of just you. bought pies for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I agree. There used to be a reason for it now. Bon appetit. It's time okay. for Title Thank Pie. You. All right, it's Friday. This is the most optimistic version of Title Pie this time of year. Yes. With the most you teams lot, included. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But it is still 10 teams that are zero percenters. We will reveal Ouch. them now. The only surprise on there might be the team whose logo you're like, wait, what team is that? That's the Clippers <laughs> in the lower right-hand corner. Everyone else. That's a little disrespectful. Oh, Bruce back. I know. You're I mean, back. Are they with the, the rest of these the, group? They, yeah. they're, look Bruce, at the rest of the do team. Do they have any chance of winning the championship? They got, as I mean, it's I Bruce. think a lot of teams on title five have no chance. So they, they I think they're as good okay. as who's not. We'll, well, see, we'll the get to teams, title pie. I bet you. I'm can put very them there with curious the to see which teams you want to put your beloved Clippers, who you will never quit and can <laughs> never quit, uh, ahead of. All right, half percent. Bruce Spurs, just because of Wimby. Sure. Half percent. Give them a one in two hundred chance. Could happen. Another half percenter. Wild Rockets. I'll take it. Because of Shingoon plus Ime Udoka year two. Yep. Uh, the Green, Green. Jabari Smith, if he finally kind of clicks in. Like, you're right. So yep. half percent. One percenter. Light the beam. One percent. For Listen. It, the, oh, Wilds is lukewarm. Uh, well, it's one percent. They shot a lot they, of threes. They, That's yeah. good. So did the Celtics. Yeah, so did the Celtics and the Mavs. One and a half percent. This is just, is KD going to have a resurgent old man year? Where it's just like, it's not him and Booker. Booker is clearly the two. KD is the one. And KD's like, God dog it. I'm not going to go in my whole 30s without a playoff run. I give it one and a half percent. Sure. Two percent. New Orleans Pelicans. I like the DeJounte Murray I do so. addition. We were seeing Zion come into his own and then he got hurt. I think they might be making a move from Brandon Ingram, fill out the rest of the team. They need some shooting. They need some shooting. You like Trey Murphy, and so there's a lot of – give them 2%. Another 2% team. The Heat. Jimmy Butler with something to prove maybe. Does Jimmy Butler take Pat yeah. Riley's yeah. criticism to heart? Take the regular season more seriously? They have the best coach in the league. Playing for a contract. They, he's playing for a contract for Jimmy, 2%. Okay. One more 2%. Cleveland Cavaliers. Standing Pat brought back Donovan. Are they maybe going to move Garland? Are they going to move Allen and, you know, fill out the rest of the team? Or are they just going to say we like our four guys, see what it is? This is a consistent playoff team since they've gotten Donovan. Can they take the next step against 2%? 2.5% Golden State. So the reason, as presently constituted, I would have them with the Clippers. In the zero percent or one star and then a bunch of but oh. because I think they have a smart front office and they might actually make another move that I am yeah. keeping them on there because I think they are of all the teams most likely to have whether it's marketing or something else substantial still coming three percent Orlando Magic it's about is Paolo going to take a wow. lead this was a, t- a good team last year this is a playoff team. They got some experience. I like the coach. I like Paolo. You guys know I like Franz. I was one of the first. All right. The three percent. The there. loss. No, it was Franz. You thought it was Mo. Is the Lakers 
And then if we can reveal also the other 3% team, the Pacers. I, this is the point I'm trying to make here. This is the Lakers neighborhood now. You're with the Magic and the Pacers. Yeah. You're a good team. You're, you know what I mean? Like, And by the way, the Pacers did make the conference finals. I understand that was a little maybe fluky. But regardless, it's like a – The in-season tournament. It, oh, yeah, in-season tournament <laughs> finalists, right? Like that is the, the company with which the Lakers keep at this point in time. And now to the teams that I think are legitimate contenders, the rest of them. 4% Memphis Grizzlies. Hmm. And that's all about – what is is this going to be Ja reminding everyone yes. that he was supposed to be on the trajectory we have now placed Anthony Edwards on? 5%. The Milwaukee Bucks. Man. A Giannis revenge year, maybe. Giannis, defending champion. Then Middleton gets hurt. He plays great in the playoffs. They lose. The next year, Giannis falls on his back. They lose. The next year, Giannis hurts his Achilles they don't, or a calf. They don't, he doesn't even play. Long time Giannis revenge season. 7%. New York Knicks. The big question with them to me, Brew, is are they keeping Julius Randle? Or are they trading Julius Randle for maybe us a, a, more help at center and other depth because Julius Randle notably did not go to Villanova. Now, next, 8%. <laughs> the Denver Nuggets. Mm. 8% what? on title pop. Yeah. That's a long way from no one's beating them in a seven-game series. But <laughs> well, this is that's also just an opinion. Well, I guess mine was proven wrong. Yeah, exactly. Yours was an incorrect opinion. That was laughably <laughs> wrong. This is a scientific pie charting teams and probability win the championship. Nine percent Minnesota Timberwolves. My question is this: aside from Anthony Edwards, where is the growth coming on the team? Right? Like, and you might say, oh, they, you know, Jaden McDaniels or Nas Reed. I thought those guys played so well last year. I don't know how much better they're gonna play. Mm -hmm. We know who Carl Anthony Towns is, we know who Rudy Gobert is. Anthony Edwards is where their improvement's gonna have to come, most notably. If he can sustain a full postseason. Dillingham. All right. Oh, yeah, sure. 10% Philadelphia 76ers. This is about health. I, I think we all love the fit. We love the, the roster as it's constituted. Daryl's very good at finding minimum guys that actually make a contribution. Are they going to stay healthy? 11% the Dallas Mavericks. Excellent offseason. Not a lot to work with, but upgraded. I like Grimes. I like what Clay will do for them. I even like Najee Marshall. I think the defense took a bit of a step back in the loss of Derrick Jones, but I like what they added offensively. 12% the oh. Boston Celtics. Come on now. Well, here's the reason. And 13% mm. mm. Oklahoma City. Wow. wow. So those were the top two seeds last year. Mm-hmm. The Celtics now are going to be without Chris Stapps for at least the beginning of the year, and we don't know. Meanwhile, Oklahoma City addressed their biggest weakness and made two solid additions, That's most fair. notably Hartenstein. So for that reason, I install them as the biggest slice of title pie post-free agency. Brew, wow. your thoughts? Well, I, like, I, first of all, the Clippers should get a slice. Okay. Maybe 1%, 0.5%, something mean, like that. Don't disrespect me. You spent the first part of the show giving love to Kawhi, uh -huh. and then you just yeah. rip his heart out. Well. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm shocked, though, that you have OKC number one. Wow. They had a great offseason. Too young, though. I didn't even I, mention Caruso. I think they're a year away from really having, a like, a great chance to win the whole championship. And, and it's because, like I said, their youth. And first of all, Nick, they just made the playoffs for the first time in years last year. All right? Yep. Became the youngest team ever to win a playoff series. Got beat in the second round, obviously. But historically, we see teams that win championships. Either you had a hard climb, yep. you've been in the playoffs year after year losing, and you finally get over the hump. Or you make, like, a huge – you get a star. Mm -hmm. Like Anthony Davis going to the Lakers. Yep. Something like that, and then you win the championship. They did neither. Now they had they added some good role players. And then Hartenstein, who I like a lot, but he is a journeyman. Yeah. And he's been this is his sixth team, and he played his best with Tibbs, which a lot Tibbs can get the most out of role players. So hopefully he can play that well in OKC. I think he can, but that's still something if he I just think the, the youth. So I would move Minnesota. I, I'd have Boston with the biggest slice. And Minnesota, the second biggest slice. Because I do like, I do, obviously, I think Anthony Edwards is going to take a jump. I think Cat, I think he's going to show maturity. 
Like, I know he's been around. He's still relatively young, but he's been around nine, ten years. But he's still young. Remember, he came in after one and done. And his maturity is one of his biggest issues. I think he can get over that. So what does that, I think well, Jay, I ask you, I what think, does that mean? Like not fouling all the time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And being just a, a little bit of a smarter player. So I, I think um, Nas, that, he had a great, great. year. That's what I'm saying. And I, I think he's, he's going to be better. I do. I think he's going to be oh, a little bit wow. better. And, and so with Jared. Like, I think he's going to be a little bit better, too. Uh, and then we'll see what the rookie can do, Dillingham. But I, I like Minnesota. They have last three years been in the hunt. Yep. First round out, first.